Hi, I'm Robbie Pierce, uh, owner and CEO of uh, Mastercraft Safety and Impact. Um, actually, it's my new toy, um, a new pre-runner that uh, Jimco built for us. Uh, it's been about a two-year project I'm pretty excited about. I actually can't really believe it's actually done finally. It's, uh, uh, I kind of convinced my friend Mike Jolson owns Jimco to build it for me. They hadn't built a, uh, they built a lot of trophy trucks, a lot of race cars, but uh, hadn't built a, um, a pre-runner luxury, what they call luxury pre-runners before, and, and I kind of twisted his arm and got him to do it, so I'm pretty excited about it. They, uh, they finished it up, put all the final touches on it uh, late Thursday night, and we brought it up here. So it hasn't seen dirt yet. It hasn't seen, uh, we've got, I think we got a dyno to do on it, but uh, pretty excited to have it. Uh, the Baja 1000's coming up, and a lot of pre-running to do. And uh, uh, for the last uh, five years, we've been pre-running in uh, an old Profi uh, race truck, and. Uh, with air conditioning and stereo and things like that, this will be a much nicer ride. Well, um, hopefully the, um, uh, we'll probably get about a week or so this month in down in Baja and uh, spend my section uh, down there. And uh, then come the 1st of November, I'll spend uh, all of November up until the race day pre-running. So um, we got uh, Rob McCachron, um, uh is going for a championship. He's leading the points and we want to we're going to hold on to that, and uh, so uh, it's a pretty big race for us, and I uh, want to be able to do my part, so I'll spend as much time as I can running my section. My name is Rob McCachron, um, driver of the number 20 Rockstar Energy BF Goodrich Mastercraft Safety Trophy Truck. Yeah, you know, one of the most important things with the Baja 1000 is pre-running, and it's something, something that we all really enjoy doing, uh, going down early and... Uh, you know, sampling the food, uh, you know, seeing all the scenery on the pre-run. Uh, typically, I try to go down at least a month in advance and get over the whole course once and come back home to the States and uh, talk with everybody at the shop and figure out all the planning, the logistics, you know, for pitting and things like that. And then, uh, you know, then I'll go right down uh, for the final pre-run, uh, usually about two weeks before the race, and I'll just stay down there the whole time, pre-run over my sections, um, you know, both in the day and at night, uh, trying to, you know, get, get as many notes as we can for the GPS and trying to memorize as much of the course that I can do. This game, this race, uh, racing is, has escalated over the last five or six years to the point where these guys are really good. It used to be an attrition deal, um, where the 500 was even a, you know, a, an endurance race. Where now the, the 250, the 500, and even some parts of the Baja 1000 are a sprint race anymore. It's, it's really not about a, attrition and just running 90% or 80% and being there at the end. It's, uh, you gotta race because there's, there's five other guys, six other guys that can run full tilt red eye and, and be there at the end. Yeah, you know, um, this year, as every year is, um, you know, it's for me, I've been racing a long time, and it's all about winning the championship. And, uh, you know, we've positioned ourselves this year with two wins, one being at the, uh, the Laughlin race, and then the second one being at the San Felipe 250. We've positioned ourselves leading the points right now. So, you know, it's all for us to take. Uh, we're leading by six over Juan Carlos Lopez. Um, you know, we've done all our homework, everybody at the shop, uh, sponsors, you know, Jimco prepping the truck, and Blue, Blue Bear, Justin France. You know, they've all been uh, working all year long to try to win this championship. So it's very important, you know, for everything to come together. We did drew uh, number three off the line um, for the race. So that's the first thing that's, uh, you know, definitely a help is to start up near the front. Um, you've got to know that course like the back of your hand. You've got to know all the, the ins and outs. And uh, um, like anything else, it's the preparation. So I'll run my section at least five times. That's, you know, somewhere around uh, 450 miles. I'll run my section at least uh, five times. So you put a lot of miles in the truck, you're down there a lot, and uh, so having a nicer, a full trophy truck, something close to what you're driving, um, uh, makes a big difference. You know, the, the Baja 1000, you know, it's, it is about racing other people, but it's also about yourself. Um, you know, there's, there's 1,120 miles that you have to, uh, you know, not make a mistake on. Um, you know, there's right now we're in a tight points battle with Juan Carlos Lopez. He's six points behind us. Um, you know, we're looking at him. We got to keep an eye on him. Um, but ultimately, you know, we're racing ourselves. You know, and as long as we do a good job, um, get down the road quickly, and if we've done all our homework at the shop and prepared the truck in the best possible way, then uh, you know the the job will be accomplished.